is another uh, field theory video, and uh, I will be very succinct on this, even if I engage in some logomachy. That's a word that nobody uses anymore, but uh, people should remember that word. It's called a logomachy. Actually, I haven't heard anybody use that word except for me in like 20 years. Um, logomachy. Um, let's talk about field theory, and I know the people in the photography like don't care about this. Let's, let's state where the fact of where we are. And trust me, boy, I know field theory. You know, <clears throat> this the dude covered in tattoos before you. You know, <clears throat> I'm a lot of things, but stupid is not one of them. I'm studying field theory now for ages. Um, master and chess champion in high school and college. I know many languages. I, I translate ancient Greek for fun. That ought to tell you something. Um... I had many fun times for months uh, actually studying an ancient uh, Egyptian two-volume, large-volume, uh, ancient Egyptian uh, dictionary. Let's get on to fields here, okay? Let's understand something where we're at. Right now, we live in an age of atomism. This, this philosophical viewpoint is as timeless as time itself. The ancient Greek uh, Platonists debated these morons. It was a... It was a Jains too. It's it's also a school of thought in Jainism. Jainism, for example, is atomistic. And at its very core, it believes in like this transcendent element, uh, but it's actually the spiritual element in Jainism is actually a true particle. I mean, quite literally. I mean, it, it is atomistic by its very nature. There's a uh, ancient school of uh, Greek atomists. You could find tons and tons of books about Greek atomists. We're living in the days, the days and ages of materialism. Okay, it's like, oh, look at all this phenomenon. We just think. We also grew up on Star Trek and all this other BS. It's like we're going to bombard the collector dish with. Uh, with tachyon particles. Everything was a particle. It's like every <laughs> every problem in a Star Trek or Star Wars uh, movie. And I watched them all. You know I love sci-fi stuff. But uh, it, it's just built up on uh, atomism. It's like every time they encountered a problem, there was like a magic particle that could like fix the problem. We're going to bombard that rip in space and time with a, 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 a tachyon particle. <laughs> you know, let me assure you of one thing. The universe and Mother Nature, I don't care what you want to call it, because we're not talking about religion here. We're, we're not even really talking about metaphysics, however metaphysics is this specifically. Mother Nature and the, the cosmos, by and large, in its entirety, does not work off of any form, variety, or breed, or hybrid of atomism. Everything is force in motion, inertia and acceleration. Everything works off of uh, capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity. The people that have taught you and brainwashed you that like light is uh, particles, these people are the same morons that have invented something so absolutely fantastical as to think and tell you that uh, like a magnetic field, the field itself, I'm not talking about the magnet, I'm not talking about Maxwellian field equations, and if you want to get in discussing a field, I will destroy you. Uh, there's nothing I love better. You can take the brightest minds, and they're not too bright, in the world and put them in this room with me, and we'll have a recorded video interview, or we'll do a Skype review. If you can find somebody that wants to have a debate with me on Skype, I'll record it, and I'll broadcast it to all of you. You pick the brightest mind you can find in any university. I will have a video review with them immediately because I know all of their weak points, and there are tons of them. They have no idea what a field is in principle. All Maxwellian field equations are expressions of vectors, and they're expressions of, uh, of, uh, of results, of effects, over a period of time. So there are vectors and times and effects in all Maxwellian field equations. There is no branch of physics, and fields are not physical since they're not particle, that has ever defined a field in principle never at any point in time. These same idiots have told you and brainwashed the rest of the world into something so stupid it makes the craziest cults, the craziest religions on earth seem sane by comparison. They have actually dreamt up 
a complete absurdity which has never been the output of any experiment ever done on Earth, and this is what they call it, virtual photons, as the basis for what forms a field around a magnet. This is just one example among many. They actually say that virtual photons, and these are their own words, magnetic field between magnetic dipoles caused by the exchange of virtual photon. This is absolutely 100% no different than saying uh, um, invisible unicorns uh, are flying between the fields of a magnet. It, it's exactly the same BS. There is not one degree of difference between stating virtual photons or stating invisible unicorns. And this is actually what passes for science. This is actually what passes uh, for what people get PhDs for and what they teach college kids. Let me tell you what, this paradigm will self-destruct. How much time that takes, I don't know, but this paradigm will destroy itself from the inside out as human beings become a little bit more wise. Okay? Everything in the universe, in, in the Earth's history, excuse me, passes through waves of understanding. We, uh, we knew that there was an enlightened age about 3,000 years ago, and then once again, up to, you know, I think it was like 12,000 years ago. And then there was apparently again like 22,000 years ago. Right now we're like right, at, right in the sewer level. It's like, well, we're technologically advanced, but we're intellectually stupid. We, we uh, have a great deal of knowledge, but knowledge is not wisdom. It's not comprehension. Okay? Being able to use fields and forces to invent fancy crap like this, like this uh, computer here, which is really complex. You know, it would make people in the old days think that this was magic if you were to turn it on and use it and like show a video. You know, they'd be like, oh, that's magic. No, this is just technology. There's no single branch of modern physics that knows what the hell magnetism is. Let me quote you what some of these morons, and these are the head cult, and nothing makes people matter, and they get so mad at me because it's like insulting the Pope of quantum insanity, like Richard Feynman, complete and total idiot. Um, the current guy, Feynman's dead now. Niels Bohr, dead, idiot. Now, there's another guy that's still alive, is Leonard Susskind, is professor of theoretical physics, and uh, he's basically a priest or a pope of the cult of quantum. And let me quote him for you here. When common sense and intuition fails, we have to create a new form of intuition based upon abstract math. When common sense fails, we must create uncommon sense. Let me translate that for you. When we don't understand how something works, we have to create imaginary BS to explain things. That is exactly what that means. Let me quote for you the uh, and his followers. This guy's dead now, Richard Feynman. His followers are insane, rabid lunatics. They're just like in a cult. They were brought up believing. The, and I have this guy's books. Um, QED, Strange Theory of Light and Matter, and his other books. This guy was a moron. He was very charismatic, however. He'd have all these little crazy things. One of the worst videos on YouTube is, a, is an English dude asking Richard Feynman how a magnet works, and he sits there and squirms in his chair like a frog on a hot plate. He's just a total, total moron. And, and what these people will come back with is like, well, this guy had a PhD. He was a professor. He was a, do, you, do you really think that means anything? In a corrupt age where you have assholes spitting out nonsense about virtual photons and uh, like negative momentum particles and all this insane BS as if Mother Nature works off magic particles that are always bumping and colliding. Fe everything is fields and fields are not particles. Let me tell you that right now, honey baby. These people are in love with this dead guy. I mean, they, they say some of the most rabid BS you could ever imagine to me when I talk about Richard Feynman. Let me quote Feynman for you. Richard, his first name is absolutely totally appropriate, which, uh, you know, Richard means dick. Okay, so I'm going to quote dick for you here. The more you see how strange nature behaves, the harder for us is, it is for us to make a model that explains even the most simple phenomenon how it works. Theoretical physics has given up on the pursuit. He just said theoretical physics has given up on the pursuit of the fundamental nature of cosmic mechanics. Okay. Yeah. Let me... Now, the, all the most important interactions in the universe, like magnetism, fields, field perturbations, which is all a, 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 an ether perturbation or an inertia perturbation, okay, 
this is this is what these idiots who uh, substituted fields with uh, with unicorn uh, particles or what they call a virtual photon or a virtual particle. Let me quote you for them on on this one. This is them. A virtual photon is an uh, is an abstraction which facilitates calculations and understanding. The term is very vague and loosely defined. They never appear as the inputs or outputs of experiments. Their existence is questionable at best. However, they are very useful concepts about making equations balance out. What these people in this sick cult, and that's exactly what it is, there's no difference between this and a sick cult or some sicko, sick, sicko, weird, you know, nonsense belief system like, you know, UFOs are going to descend and take you to a magical paradise. The, these idiots have said that things which don't exist that we totally invented out of our harebrained minds, we use these to make our equations balance out. Well, isn't that special? That's kind of the definition of insanity. This is exactly what Nikola Tesla talked about when he talked about those that thought deeply but were insane. See, there's a difference between thinking deeply and thinking clearly and someone who thinks deeply but insanely. Because the world is actually quite full of people that think very, very deeply, but they're absolutely effing insane. And that's what these people are. They are effing insane. I, I can't say it any other way. Virtual photons is what these morons, things which have absolutely no basis of existence whatsoever, they use this to explain magnetic fields, electromagnetic induction, and all the other fundamental principles of cosmic mechanics. And that is insane. That is absolutely, it's no different than a drunk Irishman talking about the little leprechauns he saw strolling on his way, peddling his uh, ass back, uh, back home. There is no difference there. There is not one degree of difference between those two. Why, sure, they've got particle accelerators and they have PhDs. Why, these people can't be wrong. Mother Nature is not a cross-eyed hooker on crack with a bag of magic particles, as these people would have you believe. Fields are ether perturbations. They are inertia. Well, you see, the fact is that now quantum mechanics and general relativity, which is a pack of assholes that have formed a cult, have now conceded that to explain fields and instantaneous action at a distance with particles is 100% insane and impossible. So now they've come up with a new uh, idea, which is just nothing other than a different way of saying the ether. They've called it quantum fluid. You see, anytime you hear an idiot in this sick-ass sick cult talk about quantum fluid, what they're talking about is the ether. Except the ether is like the holy water in this uh, satanic cult of stupidity. Ether is like the, uh, the silver bullet and the cross placed on the head of a, of a possessed demon to these uh, sickos in this uh, cult of Adam. Quantum literally means quantity i.e. materialism, i.e. atomism. This is a cult of atomism. 100% of general relativity and quantum mechanics is a cult of materialism. And you see, Mother Nature doesn't uh, peddle that crap, you know? The notion that the whole universe is just particles colliding and bumping and, you know, like there's actual particles flowing down the electrical wires outside of your house, and, you know, that... <laughs> or that they're actually virtual unicorns, I'm sorry, virtual photons that are, this is actually what these morons will tell you. This is not what I'm saying. A magnetic field between dipoles is caused by the exchange of virtual photons. These people have actually told you that invisible unicorns are what is flying between the poles of a magnet. There's not one degree, there's not one damn stinking damn degree of difference between saying virtual photons and unicorns, or miniature leprechauns, or, or pixie farts. You know, if I were to say, if I were to place these words with pixie farts, it would be the exact same thing as people do. A magnetic field between dipoles is caused by the exchange of pixie farts. Electromagnetic induction. This phenomena transfers energy from one magnetic coil to another using pixie fart. See, this is insanity. And People are sheep. Bah! They're like, well, these people have PhDs. These people are tenured professors. Well, let me tell you something, girlfriend. Every branch of science, including this one, throughout time has always thought that their crap was right. Oh, we got our finger on the pulse of reality. 
And like a hundred years later, or a couple hundred years later, or sometimes thirty years, it always turns out like, no, those assholes had it all wrong. Every damn age of science, and science is supposed to be the quest for truth, but these people are not looking for truth. They're trying to build up a sick-ass religion based on the fact that Mother Nature is this crazy bitch with a bag of magic particles. Let me repeat something to you very clearly, okay? And it's undeniable and irrefutable. You will not find the definition of the word field in principles, like what the hell is a field in itself? It does not exist in any textbook on earth. You can go looking until your balls drop off. You won't find the definition anywhere. Not in any book. Well, sure you can. Maxwellian field equations, no. Maxwellian field equations are expressions of vectors over time and resultant effects. Okay? All Maxwellian field equations are this. Okay. Over a given period of time and a given vector, we had this uh, quantifiable change. Like electromagnetic induction, we have X number of, uh, of uh, microvolts transfer over a given vector in a period of time. No, that is describing an effect over a vector over a period of time. That doesn't tell you what the hell a field is in principle. Okay? does not tell you. It can't tell you. And do you know why these people have no definition for the word field in principle? Because a field is not a thing. It is not a phenomena. It has no material reality. The only time a field is known is when it is manifest as a transverse perturbation, whether that's electromagnetic, whether it's electrical, whether it is a magnetic Gaussian flux, it is an expression over a period of time influenced with a vector. There's no such thing as a line of force. A line is an imaginary ideal dreamt up by humanity. A line of what? It's like talking about the way, well, there's a bunch of waves out there in the ocean. And any other person that has a brain goes, waves of what, asshole? It's like, no, you see all those big waves over there, and you know, there's waves, you see the surfers riding that way. And then the other guy goes, waves of what, asshole? And I was, no, 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 it's the waves out there. You know, see, over a given period of time, the calculation is we have five joules over a given vector, and the effect is, you know, well, that's wonderful. That's exactly what Maxwellian equations, Maxwellian, the four Maxwellian field equations, express are vectors and effects, not the causes or the principles. They've never defined what a field is. Never. Never. There is no place on this freaking internet or in this damn world where you will go read what the hell a field is in principle. To all these people talking about, look, look at the wave. Look at the wave. The wave of what, asshole? Oh, it's a wave. A wave of what? These people are insane lunatics. These people dazzle you with the PhDs hanging on the wall behind their stupid ass heads. Look, I've got tenure. You know, this person's a professor of theoretical physics with two PhDs, and you're just a schmuck on YouTube. Yeah. Let me tell you what. You go find that schmuck, okay? And then offer them a $1,000 or $10,000 reward. I'll pay it out, okay? I'll pay them 10000 Let's have a debate on live stream. We'll record it. You bring any of those people that you want, and we'll have a debate on the nature of a field and we'll have a debate on virtual photons, and I know all of their back doors, I know all of their weaknesses, I know all of their Achilles heels, and there are so many, it is uncountable, it is unfathomable how deep it is. I know all of their weak points. The only thing these people can do is tell you expressions over time with vectors. They can never tell you what a field is. And, uh, by the way, atomism, particleism, can never explain instantaneous action at a distance. You know, by their own definition, well, nothing moves faster than the speed of light. Well, if you have two bodies in the universe, only two bodies, for example, and one of them disappears and the other one flies away instantly, since there's like upteen billion miles between those two, that's way, way faster than the speed of light. Speed, there's no such thing as a speed of light, by the way. It's, it's a rate of induction, because light actually changes speeds. It goes through different things. Okay, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.